Why you had to cheat on me? Why you had to cheat on me? Why, why you had to cheat on me? This is what the morning is looking like over here mm -hmm. in Miami. Bright as hell right now. But this is what the morning is looking like over here in Miami, man. The water glistening. We got Brenton in the building. We got Brenton in Miami right now, man. Brother, brother. Welcome back to another morning with Megan McQueen, man. Welcome to, welcome to another morning with Megan McQueen, man. This is what the morning is looking like, okay? Regardless if Brent is here or not, okay? Because I'm a 90s kid, man. We 90s babies, okay? We're going to play the early 90s in the mornings, you know, to wind up. And getting ready for the day, you feel me? Get the day going. That's how you get it going. That's get how, the day. That's how the motion starts. That's how the motion starts. The sun shining. Did you show them the water? I showed them the water. You know what I'm saying? I showed them the water. Uh, the way the way that it was looking on the camera wasn't really doing it justice the way it was supposed to. Yeah, not. Nah, but that. you know, the water is uh is looking very elegant. I must say, Aqua Force. Okay, but that's besides the point. Okay, mm -hmm. right now we kind of in a rush because I'm not gonna lie. You know, I already told y'all, Uncle Force, that I'm not drinking no more. It's done. You already told him? I told him. That's, that's Last honorable. night we went to the club. Respect. And that was the first time in I don't know how long. I think, I think, gotta be at least more than four years that I've been to a function without having a sip of alcohol. And that felt amazing. That felt amazing. Everybody else was loaded. <laughs> and me and Brent was just standing there just like watching like we... Everything was the matrix. Like everything was just a slow mo, and we were just dictating what we wanted to engage in, what we wanted to dodge, what we wanted to. It was it was crazy. It was like a simulation. <laughs> I've never seen. I haven't. I, and it's so crazy that that simulation was taking place this whole time. Yeah. Except I was just involved in it because I too was loaded. We ignored it. We ignored it the whole time. We ignored but, it. But listen to me. Yesterday we had girls come up to us talking about some. God, you are so sexy. Had a whole married, a married, uh, married. I had a girl coming to me talking about, oh yeah, I'm married, but you know it's open. Well, at least I'll open it for you. I say, it's different. It's different. Listen to me, girls don't come up to me all before us. Yeah. I always have to go up to girls. That's why I encourage you guys to learn how to do this because a lot of y'all be trying to use the excuse, oh McQueen, you're handsome, you a good looking dude, you light skin, you six two. That don't mean nothing. I have never had anything given to me including girls. I still have to go up and talk to them. But last night, it was like I didn't even, it's like I was a magnet. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a different energy when, you know, you have a lot more control over yourself. You know what it you is? Know what I mean? They loved the stoicism. The stoicism. That's what they, we lo they loved the stoicism. In a room full of drunk people, the stoicism. me and you looked like we was just chilling. I mean, we was. And we was. We was. So that intrigues them. You know what I'm saying? That intrigues them. They like, oh man, he not in, he not in here being thirsty, trying to get up on every girl. He really just posted up, yeah. chilling. I what's 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 his deal? Yeah, they got an issue with they it. They got an issue with it, but it's it's it's, it's, it's less <laughs> more it's less of an issue, more so like I want to figure out what he got going. Curiosity. Curiosity. Yeah, you curious. You know what I'm saying? You should have just said that. And curiosity could have killed that cat last night. Oh man. But I, you know what I'm saying? Look, I, we wasn't loaded. We wasn't loaded. So guess what? That means I have a lot more discipline. Over my thing. That's what I'm talking about, though. I think just from that standpoint alone, that's going to get you exactly what you want. You ain't, you're going to be able to weed out the things that are necessary versus things that aren't. Okay. Oh, so if you're saying if you're loaded, you're not going to be able to you, weed if, it out. No, nah, yeah. The if filtration you, if, system if you clear not going to be and you in that, If you're in that Neo mode, mm. you're going to always get what you want. Be able to move the bullets like this. Yeah. Instead of, like, just weed it. You'll, you'll, you'll save a lot more time, basically. Mm, okay. You'll save a lot more time. I was kicking with the homie Goldie the other day. He and he was, he, was he, was kicking, he, and he was kicking game. He was sitting there talking about how, like, you know, he'll have a girl come over sometimes. And, and he'll straight up tell her, like, no, you, she, be trying to, she be trying to get knocked down. He like, nah, you ain't, you ain't going to get this. You ain't going to get this. You know what I'm saying? Mm. You're not going to get this tonight. I respect my thing. You're not going to get that tonight. Yeah. You know? And last night, Let I'm not going to I'm not gonna lie. Last night was the first night. I mean, don't get it messed up. I, I don't turn a girl down. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, together. Nah. But the way he was talking about it, like, he do it on the regular, right? And yeah. I realized what he was saying. You want to know why? Well, because that? last night when we was in the club and I wasn't drinking, I wasn't, we, we was drinking nothing but water and Red Bull in there, okay? When I was, we were sober in that, in that thing. I mean, we and was. When the girls was coming up and talking, 
even if they wanted to get knocked down last night, I'm like, nah, you can't get this. You yeah. can't get this. That's powerful. That, and that's powerful. That's, that's, that's powerful right there. Yeah. All because I wasn't loaded. You know, they call alcohol spirits for a reason. That's what they call it. You call, they call it spirits. I, I know heard, you see I, it. I heard it before. They call it spirits for a reason. But I didn't, but I didn't pay, I didn't pay I didn't attention, attention, to attention to it. It didn't matter. It didn't matter. It didn't matter at the time. Oh, but it matters now. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Because when we When, we when walk, you take the alcohol, it, it's like a spirit possesses you. Uh, Do you know what I'm saying? It's yeah. like it's not even you no more. I'd be mad if that was my girl talking about, oh, yeah, like, I'm mad. Bro, but, the girl wasn't, man, that's crazy, man. I'll be, I'll That's be crazy. She was in there talking about, I got a husband, but I'll, I'll open it for you. Okay. She said She said at first, she was like, oh, it's open. I looked at her like, yeah, and then she changed it. She was like, "It's. I mean, it's open for you. I say, damn. Yeah, it's, it's, I say, damn. It's a different game. It's a different game. You're trying to get me caught up. But anyway, man, enough blabber, okay? Me and Brent, we on our way to the gym right now. Okay. We're about to take these vitamins. Hey, Brent, you can, t- you can bring that, that camera closer. Yeah, man. Brother man, yeah, brother just, man. Just bring, just bring that right about here, man. Just bring that right about here, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. How's it looking light, well, lighting-wise? I look good. Before we leave the gym, you guys already know the routine, okay? We got the vitamins, okay? We got the damn B12 gummies. We got the iron. We got the antidepressants. And we got the goddamn, what is this? Creatine, okay? And then we got the emergency raspberry powder that you put in water, okay? It's got a lot of nice vitamins and electrolytes in there to get your energy going, you know what I'm saying? And so we about to knock all this down, okay? Uh, do not take the antidepressants off before so I'm only taking that because I'm prescribed and my brain needs it, so I'm low-key an addict, okay? But anyways, okay, we about to take these vitamins, okay? Get ready to go to this gym. Today is leg day, we you feel me? I don't already recorded the leg day for y'all, I know y'all probably like, McQueen, you already got a leg day. You already got a damn shoulder day twice. Like, when are we going to see another day? Listen to me. Don't worry. Okay? The vlogs. You, the crazy part Did is. I just drop all that creatine? No, you, you, dropped, you dropped about a little a, bit. A fourth of it. You all could. Right. It's all good. All right. But anyways, you know, uh, you know, I'm going to be real. You guys see these vlogs coming, man. Okay? I'm, I was going to do a chest day today, but honestly, like, I missed the gym yesterday because, you know, we were late to the day. So, uh, <clears throat> you know, I didn't get to do a proper leg day, so I got to do the leg day today, man. I got to stay on schedule. So we're going to do the leg day today, and uh, I'm going to record the chest days and, you know, uh, the other muscle groups, you know, coming very, very, very soon, okay? Because you guys already see these vlogs is coming, okay? I'm not going to talk. I'm just going to show y'all, all right? I'm not going to talk. I'm just going to show y'all. So we're going to take this creatine first because I already don't. You guys already know it's not a, it's not a pleasant experience taking a dry scoop of creatine. <laughs> you do the you do the dry scoop. You don't put no liquid in it. Why not? Why don't you put no liquid? You don't in see it? me just chasing with the liquid. Oh yeah. Is that a better effect? Is that a better way to do it? I mean, I look at it like this. I ain't got time to be sitting there mixing it and drinking all that. I ain't got time. I ain't got time to be doing all that. Okay. We got things to accomplish. Now you're right. You're right. Save as much time as possible. Next, the anti-pressure. Mm. Mm. Now we got the iron. Okay. Mm. Now we got the gummies. You know what I'm saying? All right, man. Let's go to the gym. I'm trying to get a colada. Que paso, Mario? Que paso, my friend? No, no. Uh, no mucho trabajar. No mucho, no mucho trabajo. Sí, ser trabajo, sí. ¿Y tú? Yo sí tengo mucho trabajo. Okay. <laughs> I'm coming every day. <laughs> Getting the damn warm ups going. You know what I'm saying? I told you I was leg day. I don't ever do nothing too eccentric, but Brenton over here, he loves to do all these damn extra doubt ass warm ups. What's your warm up? What you what you want? So what you want to do for warm up? What you want to start with? What you want to what, what you because you got the you got the greats. I'm, huh? I'm, I'm following your lead. So you so what you wanted to go for over the room? I'm gonna do some squats. So you want to do some squats? So let's do some squats then. All right. Yeah. Come on. Tell you me ready? I wanna, you yeah, ready? I'm ready. Let's go. I'm gonna put a timer on. Okay, let's, let's go. I do it for time. For how long you do it for? Forty five seconds. Okay, you do how many sets? 
it was within the 45 seconds. So you just do one 45 second set? I do about two. So you want to go I, I all the way to the weight room to do that? But it ain't going to be the only thing I'm doing. So, See, so, you want, you so want, what, so what yeah, else? But you, you, you so what else that, do you do? Let's do those squats first. Let's do right, the squats first. All right. You said 45 seconds? Yeah. Hold oh on, my. let me set a timer. She got, this, she got ass over here. I wish I, I wish I could show y'all, but you know what I'm saying? What I ain't you talking about? Great. All right, ass. you ready? This is like a, this, this is also like a little ballroom. Come so, on, you know, let's go. In here doing ballet. Let's go. Just get the legs warmed up. Okay, we do need to get the legs warmed up. I ain't gonna lie, cause sometimes they, they, had already, they, they had already just they had already seen in the other vlogs. I really don't even really be have doing they, too have much. Have they seen you do this though? Huh? Have they seen you do this? Oh, I mean, they seen it. They seen it a long time ago. They haven't seen it in well, any they recent see days. It again. Yeah. They, okay. They haven't seen they it in any recent what we days. We're doing like we doing some squats. Y'all can learn a lot from this. It builds testosterone. It does build testosterone, doesn't it? And you just be talking out your ass. What you mean to build testosterone? It do. <laughs> I'm talking about we doing squats specifically Timer's still on. Let's go. Come on, let's go. Let's get it. <laughs> <laughs> Time to go off. It's, it went off. <laughs> <laughs> We're not built for no reason, though. No. People okay. can say, oh, you guys are playing around. No, we're not playing around. I mean, the proof is in the pudding. Look, look at the way we look. Look at the uh, way we look. We rest look. for about 10 seconds. OK. And the next thing we're doing is lunges. OK. How far are we going to do that at? How? 45 seconds. What are we going we gonna to walk that way? We could. Oh, you, oh we're going to do stationary lunges? Yeah. OK. But, but instead, we're going to do this. We're going to do. Oh, OK, OK. For about. We do that for about 20, 22 seconds on one side and 22 seconds on the other. Let's go. All right. Hold on. Let me start. Yeah, because I need these warm-ups. I ain't going to lie. I, I got to warm them up. Are you ready? Because I'm trying to. Yeah, I'm ready. Let's go. All right. One. Get that little good squeeze on the way down and bring it up. <laughs> <laughs> Ten more seconds. <laughs> 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 that's the other leg, right? Yeah, that's the other leg, man. All right. <laughs> you stopped. Uh, I'm doing this dumb ass shit. <laughs> I know you warmed up. You warmed up now? Are you warmed up? I'm you warmed ready? up. I want to sit here and do a damn jumping around like a damn how frog. You feel, how you feel after I this? I feel good. <laughs> Let's go lift. The thing is, I hate these girls in here, bro. Why? Because you they, got, that? Because they got such fat. You said they got something to pack? Like they, now look at that. This is dumper. She's just crazy. Yeah. just distracting you here, man. Yeah. So you got to stay focused. Leg extension, leg extension, leg extension. I've already told you guys before, I do not like this workout. But we're going to do it because it's needed. It's got to get done, you know? I tell you guys before, with anything that you don't like doing, you just got to really lie to yourself while you're doing it and say, I love it. Like Mike Tyson said, doing discipline is doing what you hate to do, but doing it like you love it. So you just got to lie to yourself through these sets. That's what I do. When I'm, in these, when I'm doing these leg extensions, I hate this workout. But I be sitting there in my mind as I'm lifting, I'm like, I love this. I love it. I love how this feels. I love how my legs are going to look after I get done. I love how sore I'm going to be tomorrow because that's just going to be a big sign that I'm making gains as long as I'm eating properly and as long as I'm you know, hitting my calorie limit, hitting my protein li limit, hitting my protein goals, hitting my, you know, every single thing that you're supposed to be hitting, cars, fats, all of those things. If you guys want a guide on how to do that, and how to get in shape the proper way. Make sure you guys go join the Mega McQueen Academy. It's for a very affordable price. First thing in the description, okay? A bunch of men in there right now and changing their life. I can teach you how to do exactly the same thing. Once we hit 100 members, I'm raising the price to $100. So you better get in right now because we're about to hit 100 members very, very soon. But yeah, man, like I said, you gotta lie to yourself and tell, this, tell yourself that you love it. Who knows? You know what I'm saying? You do it enough times, you might actually end up loving it. Because, you know, I don't gotta like something to do it. You don't gotta like something in order for you to do it, of course. I hate this girl got such a goddamn thumper. I hate, ooh, 
I gotta say something to this girl, bro. The I'm, talking about the one, I'm talking about the one at the pink. The reps course. are important, yeah. The one that I had showed earlier when we were walking, walking through the other spot. Mm -hmm. She's standing right in front of us right now, I got you. She hella bad, I gotta say something at some point. Yeah, no, nah, my mama is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, I know, I know, I know. I know, I see it too. Even the old heads see the thumpers in here, man. All right, y'all. So leg curls, last week I had did. Last week I had did three sets, 135, times 10, and then a drop set of 70 to failure. I guess I'm gonna just stay at 135 and just master this weight. And then, uh, yeah, like I said, go to failure. Because uh, <clears throat> honestly, like me being sick, uh, in these past couple weeks has thrown off my consistency when it came to the leg days. So I think that's probably taking an effect of how I'm performing when it comes to legs today. So I'm just gonna master this weight. And then after that, I'm saying get back on track with the, you know, going up and weight every week or, you know, every other week. So I tried to go catch that bobber that was walking, but I couldn't catch it. Off camera, I had already did the second set. So now I'm finna do the third, and then the drop set after that. <clears throat> Set 70. 70. Let's go. 70 to failure. See, y'all might be thinking, oh, McQueen, that's a big difference in weight. Try to do a drop set after three sets of heavy weight. It's going to feel like you lifting more than what you were originally lifting. It's gonna feel heavy as hell. Oh. <sighs> 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 it's really the that's drop sets or drop sets are really the only way to truly make sure you go into failure. Cause you might not be able to lift and squeeze and do like full proper reps with the heavy weights. But if you hit a drop set right after your third set or how many ever sets you do per workout, or depending on whatever workout you do, and then you hit a drop set after after you do all the heavy lifting, that's gonna push you all the way to, to failure. It's about really out outdoing your old self. We got things to do today. You said we got things to do? What we gotta do? You said the boppers? That's what you call them. It's a lot of money to be made. A lot of money to be made. <laughs> That's 10. Yeah, I count it. Do a drop set. Do a drop set. What does that mean? What is that? Do a drop set. Bro, my legs hurt already. My legs hurt already. Go and pick you. Go, go 55, go ahead. Do 10 more? That's bounce back. Calf raises, man. Calf raises, we had 240 pounds right now for 200 for calf raises. Three sets, 
240 pounds. You know, I mean that's not to flex the weight because you know you don't want to you don't want to. Nah, I ain't gonna lie, it's, it's to flex the weight. But don't just jump straight to you know a heavy weight. I had to work my way up here. You know you don't want to hurt your back. I even put it in my progressive over overload tracker. In, in parentheses, almost hurt your back. So slow down. So I'm gonna have to go slow on these sets. Make sure I get my my form correct. I don't want to tear no. I don't want to pull nothing. You feel me? But we also want to make sure we tear the muscle. All right, first set. Now, I, I just realized I, I haven't even worked out with no music today. That's probably why I'm, I'm not pushing dumb hard, but I'm still getting through them. Don't, don't, don't get a mess that we getting through these sets. Ah. Whew. Yeah, it definitely makes a difference to that music. Let's go. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. See what the deal is. Because you know a lot of times when people looking from the outside looking in, oh, it looks easy. Just because we're just hopping on, mm. hopping on. Exactly. Until you get your eyes in here, you feel that weight. That's what they say is easy. Yeah, I mean, you know, McQueen, you need to go heavier. Yeah. McQueen, you're not even doing it right, okay? Get your eyes in here. See if you could do it. There's a reason why I look the way I do and you look the way you do. Remember that. So if you so if you ain't trying to look, if you ain't trying to look how you do no more, then go get the fitness course and then make a move win the academy first thing in the description. Stop playing around. Okay? Yeah. I'm telling you some I told you after this leg day you're gonna you're gonna feel it, man. Leg day ain't no joke, man. My baby with the big booty, she gone. She probably left already. You know what I'm saying? Now she probably went to the bathroom or something. But listen to me, let this be a lesson, Uncle Forrest. When I teach y'all how to get the game and how to talk to these tutors and how to get their numbers, this is just, it's strictly just to teach y'all how to do it, how to become confident, how to be able to do it. If you see a girl that you like, how to be able to go and get her whenever you want, whenever you please. That's what the course is teaching you. I am not teaching you to go and chase after these boppers. I'm teaching you to let them know, hey, listen, I want you. I want your number. I'm trying to I'm trying to see what's up with you, but I'm not finna chase you, okay? I'm teaching you how to become confident, how to smooth talk, how to know, how to be sure of yourself. If you see a girl, what I am teaching you is being able to go up to her, hey, listen, baby, I think you're beautiful as hell. What's your number? Be able to chop it up with her, make her attracted to you, how to make it easy for you to sit there and take her on a date, how to get her number, what to say, all those things. That's what I'm teaching you. I'm not teaching you to sit here and just chase after these boppers. If she not messing with you, if she acting brand new, if she acting stupid, you leave, the, you leave her alone. You go straight on your path. You stay on your path, okay? What I'm teaching you is if you see a girl on the sidelines as you stay, stay staying straight on your path, if you see a girl on the sidelines that you want to see if she's trying to get in the car with you, that's what I'm teaching you how to do. I'm teaching you how to go and do that. A lot of y'all don't know how to do that. Y'all gotta just got, y'all just got to drive right past the through because you don't know what to say. You're scared. I'm teaching you how to not to be scared, how to get what you want. That's what I'm teaching you. Don't get it messed up. I'm not telling you, I'm not ever telling y'all to go chase after the thuders. But understand that learning how to get the thuders and how to be confident is a very important part of self-improvement. Okay? The Megan McQueen Academy is teaching you how to become the best version of yourself. That's what I'm teaching you. I'm teaching you how to become confident because it's an important key factor as a man to learn how to become confident and how to attract anything you want in this life. How to get any girl, how to be able to dominate a room, how to be a pimp. I'm saying it's important. That's important. That's what I'm teaching y'all. So, you know what I'm saying? This is all more about confidence and becoming the best version of yourself over anything. The girl's just the byproduct because if you get the, if you get the confidence, if you get the pimping, if you get the game, the girls come easy. You feel me? Don't ever get it twisted. I would never leave y'all down the wrong path, man. All right, third set. <laughs> Let's get out of here, bro. This Miami life is so different, Aqua Force. This Miami life is just so different. It's just so different. It's just so different. I'm trying to show y'all the water. You know what I'm saying? But it's just so different out here in Miami, man. You know what I'm saying? It's just so different. You feel me? I really feel like I'm Paul Walker in Too Fast, Too Furious. You know what I'm saying? Just a young Cali dude out here really in Miami. I feel like I'm playing Vice City when I'm out here, okay? I really, really do. I think I've said this before in other vlogs, but yeah, man, we on the way to the beach. I said before in the vlogs before, 
that I was gonna use these glasses that, that literally record everything you do, you know, whatever you're looking at. Uh, but I got these, I got the wrong, the wrong shades for them, the wrong lenses. But until those come in the mail, cause I gotta wait like a week, I'm about to just, I just pop the damn lenses out. So I got the little lensless shades, you know? If a girl sits there and asks me why you ain't got no lenses, I'm just gonna use that as an opening line. Baby, listen to me, this is fashion, okay? This is the fashion. Hey, enough about that. You don't say what's your name? What's your number? Ooh, 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 okay. That's what I, that's the energy I'm finna come with. Sometimes it just don't it don't gotta make sense, of course. You just gotta spit your game. You know? You really just gotta spit your game. You just gotta come with the right amount of confidence. You feel me? We about to uh get to the beach right now, actually. We're actually just about to pull up. Yeah, man, I'm about to use, I'm about to utilize what I call the confused knockdown. Okay. What is the confused knockdown? It's when you sit there. It's when you sit there and act confused about where you at. Act confused about a direction that you need to get to. When you talk to the girl, excuse me, you know where CVS is at? Uh, yeah, so, oh, uh, actually, I don't give a damn. I just thought she was very beautiful. I wanted to come over and say what's up to you, you know? Get them confused. Act like you confused once you get them in the, in the net. Just, ha, ha. You know what I'm saying? Just reel them in. Once you get them on the real, reel them in. I call this the confused knockdown. Excuse me. You know where the CVS is at? Oh, I'm just giving a fuck. I don't, I don't care about none of that shit. I just came over because I thought you were beautiful. <laughs> What's your name? Jaleesa. Jaleesa McQueen. Nice to meet you. What's your name? McQueen. McQueen. Yeah. Where are you from? St. Louis. St. Louis? Okay, that's dope. You here for the weekend or something? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, that's cool. I like your hair. Thank you. Yeah, that's your fire. You like light skin niggas? Yeah. Excuse me. I mean to interrupt you guys' photo shoot, but I just wanted to tell you that, you know, I love blue, it's my favorite color, so I just wanted to tell you I appreciate you for wearing it. Blue? Yeah. I'm not wearing blue. Oh, you're right, that's my fault. I'm colorblind, that's why I need these glasses. What's your name? Natalie. Yeah, Natalie McQueen, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. How tall are you? Five. Five? Just five. Five? Just five foot? You like tall, light skinned I have a boyfriend. You have a boyfriend? You need, you need two? No. No? I can barely handle one. Oh, for real? Okay, for sure. Well, it was nice to meet you, Natalie. Nice to meet you. you have a nice have day. A nice All right. Excuse me. Excuse me. Do you guys know where CVS is at? CVS? I'm just kidding. I just came over because I thought you were very beautiful. Uh, yeah. Do. What's your name? Olivia. Olivia. Nice to, meet you. nice to meet you. Where are you going right now? Uh, on the beach. Are you from Miami? No. Wait, you from Russia? Uh, Poland. Poland. Okay. Yeah, Russia. Do girls in Poland like tall, light skinned niggas? <laughs> <laughs> what? Maybe? Yeah. How long are you here for? Just one wing, okay. So how about you give me your phone number? I'm back home tomorrow. Oh, you go back home tomorrow? Yeah. You said you've been here for a week. It already is over? Yeah. Okay, for sure. All right, well, it was nice to meet you. Yeah, you have a nice night. All right, excuse me, miss. Excuse me, I just wanted to tell you, I think you're very beautiful. Thank you. What's your name? Estella. Estella McQueen, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Are you Spanish? I am. You are? Okay. I'm, I'm from, I'm new here. I'm from LA, so you know, a lot of the white people just look white. I don't, I can't really tell. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm half Italian, half Peruvian. Half to Italian, okay, that's beautiful. Okay, you like tall, light skinned niggas? <laughs> <laughs> you sure? Yeah? yeah. Okay. Cool. For sure. Are you? Do you live in Miami? No, I don't. You don't? Where you stay at? Um, I'm in an apartment. And an apartment? Yeah. Wait. Well, I mean, yeah. I mean, I would hope you live in an apartment. I'm saying, like, do you? Oh, yeah. Like, in, down, yeah, South Point. Okay. Cool. For yeah. sure. I just moved here. You should let me get your number. I'll take you out some time. You. You know what? I would love to, and okay. I will. Okay. I'll give you my number, okay. but I'm leaving. Oh, you're leaving when? Uh, 4 a.m. tonight. You're leaving to like, like for good, or? I'm going back to school. Are oh, you going back to school? Okay, yeah. so you don't live in Miami. No, I do not, but I have an apartment here. <laughs> wait, wait, okay. So how long are you going to be going for? I'm from New York City. You're from I'm New York City? I'm from North Carolina, so okay. breaks, I come. Okay, okay, yeah. for sure. All right, well, then you should still give me your number so that way when you come back, I can take yeah. you on a date. Okay, cool. Very kind. I felt very, like, not threatened. Did you? Okay, good, for sure. I just wanted to let you know. That. Okay, cool. I'm glad. I'm not trying to give her no, no weird-ass yeah. vibes. Um, New York City is... Yeah, I bet, I bet. All right, so I'm hanging out with this little voiceover right now because you know, see the audio got messed up on this. But look, now you can see me. Listen, man, I showed y'all the rejections on purpose, okay? The rejections is a part of the game, okay? I don't want to hear nobody talking, making excuses. Oh, McQueen, it's because you light-skinned this, though. You 6'2", you handsome. Just... Shut up! Stop being a damn loser, okay? I get rejected, too. It's a part of the game, all right? But as you see, I kept persevering. I kept trying. The first two girls, I got rejected. I got rejected by more clips, okay? But they weren't complete enough for me to show you, all right? I went through three or four rejections before I got to that W right there, all right? Once you get one W, it gives you the confidence to continue to keep going. And once you get that one W, it makes all the L's worth it, okay? And honestly, they're not L's. 
Because more L's you take, the closer you are to a W. It's a part of the game. In order for you to get any W's, you got to take the L's. So it's not an L even to begin with, okay? Because you're just building up the L's to get the inevitable W as long as you stay persistent, okay? It's a part of the game, y'all. And the more you keep doing it, the better you get, and the less time you take L's, okay? So I showed you guys that on purpose, man. It's a part of the game. Everybody takes L's, even the, even the biggest superstars, okay? That you think it's all the boppers, okay? Yes, they get boppers a lot easier, but they still get rejected, okay? No one is exempt from getting rejected, all right? All of that is just one part of the game, okay? Getting girls is really, really easy if you know the game, if you know the psychology, if you have all of the information needed, and you don't have that, okay? And I have a step-by-step -step guide in the Megan McQueen Academy called the Bust Down Bible. Like I said, it's a step-by-step -step guide teaching you how to get the confidence in the first place, what to say to the girl, how to get her number, what to text her once you get her number, how to get her from the text messages to the date, what to say on the date, and how to get her back to the crib and eventually bust down. Step-by-step -step guide, and on top of it, you got a community full of other men right now as we speak, changing their lives, interacting with each other, interacting with me, learning how to become the best version of themselves, not only with confidence, not only with attracting girls, but also getting in shape, all for a very, very low, low price, man. And if you join in right now, that price will be locked in for life, okay? But as soon as we hit 100 members, which is very soon, okay, I'm raising the price to $100. But if you get in right now, you get this whole experience of a community full of men who are on the same self-improvement journey as you, having access to step-by-step -step guides, okay, cheat code. You have access to text me every single day on the app. And on top of it, you get weekly group calls for you to talk to me directly and ask me questions with problems in life or anything you may run into when it comes to the obstacles that you may face as you continue to learn. All of this value and all this game and all these benefits for a very low price, okay? So go get in there right now before we hunt 100 members because that price will be locked in forever, all right? That's it for this video, man. Make sure you guys hit the like button. Make sure you guys subscribe. I love you guys, man, and I will see you guys in the next video. These videos are gonna keep coming, man, so make sure you guys turn your notification bells on and I will see you guys in the next video. Ah! Yeah, that part. Ugly shot with the chop like I was Lonzo Ball. Getting rich, little nigga, that's the easy call. Ain't talking vans, but I got your bitch. She off the wall. After I hit, she getting kicked like a soccer ball, bitch. Yeah, and I'm the shit talker, jit walker. Form too fast, I'm in the power walk.